Morning, Tuesday 5th of April, a uh, quiet day yesterday. Mondays usually are quiet after the non-farm payroll number. I say that every month, uh, so you're well accustomed to that by now. Uh, Tuesday, probably going to be quiet. We are waiting for the re release of the minutes from the Federal Reserve meeting about interest rates tomorrow. Uh, that will be out in the evening, uh, European time in the evening. Um, so for, for today, maybe some more, uh, some more sideways action. I kind of think we're going to be trading mostly sideways into Easter anyway. Easter's at the end of, uh, end of next week. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be in the mood for getting too aggressive in the financial markets. We've already had such a lot going on in the first quarter, uh, obviously with um, inflation, interest rates, Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine seems to not be influencing the financial markets anymore. We've taken that in our stride now, just absorbed it. So we'd, have, we'd need some pretty um, serious uh, a new turn of events for that to have any, uh, any um, effect. Gold is uh, stable. Oil is stable, and I think that's likely to be the case, certainly into Easter, uh, barring any surprise news. So, uh, look at the euro yen, breaking lower, breaking below sort of 134.40. Um, so, the euro, which has been quite weak and it has been trending lower, certainly against the dollar, um, could weaken further if we start, if we hold below sort of 134.50, 134.70. Uh, euro, actually, let's have a look at the euro versus the US dollar. Um, okay, breaking the lower trend line of what probably is a, a, bull, a bear flag. I've been talking about this bear flag pattern for a while. Initially, I thought it was a different uh, trend line situation, but we do seem to have broken lower. Euro's in a bear trend anyway, so it's, 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 you know, it's fairly standard procedure for traders to sell on a break below the lower trend line of a bear flag when we are already in a bear market. As you can see, we're not oversold on the slow stochastic on the downside. So I do favor moves to the downside. Resistance around 110.00 now, which is that trend line. If we, un if we um, unexpectedly broke higher, then we still do have that strong resistance around the 111.5 area, which worked quite well last week. We overran it a bit. Um, dollar CAD, still ranging. Uh, I still have my support levels and my resistance level to trade, as you can see, moving quite nicely between the 23.6% FIB and good support, uh, good longer term support down there at the 124 in the low 124 area. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see that level hold if it were retested. Japanese yen making a bit of a recovery. Sorry, dollar versus Japanese yen is making a bit of a recovery. But again, I think we're probably uh, establishing a sideways trend in this pair as well. Uh, that rocketed um, and then we've seen a small correction. And I think we're now just establishing a range. I, we don't know the range for sure. Got to wait until we can draw a couple of trend lines on there and figure out what the parameters are for that. Gold, I favor moves to the downside. We've still got that massive double top pattern. Let me show you it again. Where are we? Can I get the weekly chart up? Here we go. Weekly chart for gold, huge double top pattern. So my bias is to the downside for gold eventually. Really, that is a very tasty pattern, not something you see very often. So um, we'll go back to the daily chart for gold. I think eventually this is a consolidation of the move down that we've had. And then eventually I think we will break lower. Um, stock markets, well, we're back up to the resistance levels. I suggested that that might happen. We'll see where we go. I'm really surprised that the stock market is just very strong indeed. There's the NASDAQ back up to the resistance level. Do we get a small double top here holding below last week's high? And then the market sinks maybe tomorrow. We shall see. S&P also turning higher. We'll have a look at the Dow Jones before I finish. Uh, where is the Dow Jones? Here we go, US 30. Again, bouncing back to a resistance level. We'll see if we get a little bit of a uh, head and shoulders pattern here. This could be a nice little head and shoulders pattern here, actually. We'll have to look at it on the four hour chart. There we go. Quite promising. Get the ray. Here we go. Okay, so if we do top out quite soon, this could be a nice little head and shoulders pattern with a break below 34,000, call it 550, triggering more significant moves to the downside in the short term, at least. Pretty much summing up on what is, as I say, quiet sessions at the moment, sideways markets, a bit more action maybe on the Fed minutes. Um, I've, I've sent out my trade sheet for the day. Uh, I'll probably just squidge it up here. And then you can just see some of the trades ideas that I've got. Gold, Aussie, well, Aussie's broken higher, so that's already got a buy signal. Aussie yen's got good support, which held last week. A couple of levels in the, in the dollar yen. We've just looked at those. 
euro yen um, a sell level um, there because we broke this the resistance so that's uh, sorry we broke the support so that's now my resistance around 134.50 134.70 uh, euro uh, around 110 double o but if we were to get up there we've got that 111 and a half area anyway pretty much everything that i have already talked about is on today's spreadsheet um if i move that down you can actually see there we go there's my these are my sell levels in red and these are my buy levels in blue but uh you should have received that already hope that's helpful we'll chat again tomorrow before the fomc meeting and then we can talk on thursday about the outcome for that good luck if you're trading the financial markets today i do release some of these videos later in the day after our subscribers have seen them first thing in the morning with their subscriptions um, if you're watching this uh, on youtube after uh, that time and you want to have a look at our subscriptions what we offer if, uh, last week we made a thousand pips it's not uncommon to make a thousand pips in a week i wouldn't say that's uh, we do that every week but certainly not uncommon sometimes it's more sometimes it's less um, if you want to join us then the best package really is the gold or the premium membership if you want uh, to join me on my uh, telegram channel for some live updates and you can talk to me during the day whenever you're stuck with a trade or you've got any trading problems uh, so please have a look daytradeideas.co.u grab a subscription you'll get my analysis my trade ideas my trade sheet uh, first thing in the morning the trade sheet looks a bit like this I just showed it uh, yeah there you go there's the trade sheet uh, so you get what the market you know sell or buy orders targets and a comment on it uh, so if you want to get that then basically you want to grab yourself a uh, gold membership or a premium membership that includes all the updates on telegram uh, if you need me uh, go to the contact page and you can send me a message got my email address skype and whatsapp number there so i'm easily contactable thanks very much and good luck if you are trading the financial markets today